Thank you, Trooper Steve. Developing right now for the sixth time in less than two weeks, police in Daytona Beach are investigating a shooting. This one taking the life of a 19 year old. Now in just hours, the community is coming together in hopes of getting results and stopping the violence. Mark Lehman is following the latest on this, and this, this shooting may have started with a fight over a girl, Mark. Yeah, investigators say this is the, the third case of gun violence that's involved a relationship dispute, with police now investigating their fourth deadly shooting in a week and a half. They're calling on the community for help. Upon arrival, we discovered our victim laying on the basketball court and he was shot at least three times. Police Chief Jakari Young talking about another shooting happening in Daytona Beach. Investigators say 19 year old John Phillips was shot and killed on a basketball court Sunday afternoon. But what we're being told right now that this one again was possibly a dispute over a female. Police say one person was taken into custody in what's now the sixth shooting in Daytona Beach over the last 10 days. From those shootings, there have been nine total victims, resulting in four deaths. Because this can't all be on us. This can't all be on the police. The first deadly shooting happening on November 21st. That's when 21-year-old Chad Givens was hit by stray gunfire after police say there was a fight over a woman involving several people. A couple days later, investigators say James Williams shot and killed his cousin after a dispute. Then on Wednesday, 43-year-old Warwick Williams was fatally shot during a card game, which resulted in the arrest of 36-year-old Jermaine Jackson. We cannot be everywhere at once, and I'm reaching out to the community for their support. And today, in an effort to find solutions to the violence, police are holding a meeting with community members. The gathering is scheduled for 6 this evening at Midtown Cultural Center. They're asking anyone with concerns to attend the meeting and let their voices be heard. Kirsten. Mark, thank you.